Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today, we have traveled to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Indianapolis 60. This is going to be race number 34 in the More Freedom Series Season 4. And with only three races left to go, let's go through your current top 10 in points. Your points leader is the double zero of Mudbone. Second will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 25 of JTM. Fourth will be the 72 of Duchess. Fifth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Sixth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. Seventh will be the 49 of Jetman. Eighth will be the 88 or the 96 of Nico. Eight, ninth will be the 88 of NM. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings. Douche Motorsports still leads the way. MBR second, Amish Buggy Racing third, Aces to Zed Motorsports fourth, and rounding out your top five will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings look like this as well. Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all things points here in the More Freedom Series for this Indianapolis 60. It's going to be an amazing race here today at Indy, and I'm looking forward to it. The crowd is already filing in here. I think it's about time, so let's go racing. As I get these cars fired up, let's go through your starting top 10. Starting on the pole will be the 25 of JTM, and on his outside, the 72 of Duchess. Starting third will be the 660 of Garrett Miller, and on his outside, the 799 of Mike Check. Starting fifth will be the 203 of Signs, and on his outside, the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Starting seventh will be the 96 of Nico, and on his outside, the 51 of AJM. Starting ninth, will be the 666 of Pistol Pete, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Just as a note here today, I want to say happy birthday to the 666 of Pistol Pete. It is his birthday here today for Indianapolis, one of his home tracks here in the More Freedom Series, so happy birthday to the 666 of Pistol Pete. As was told to me by the double zero of Mudbone, let me know that. Um... The 25 of JTM will be leading us down to take the green flag here today. He is on the cusp of falling out of the opportunity to win this championship. He needs a win here today, and he has, he has put himself in the position starting on the pole to win this race. He has got to win. He's got to do everything right here today. He's got a lot of competition going on from the rest of this field, but the 25 at JTM ha is doing what he can to win the championship here in the More Freedom Series season four, as he's gonna be starting here on the pole with the 72 of Duchess on his outside. Looks like that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car is ducking in. Waiting on the starter. Green flag is out, and we are underway here at Indianapolis. JTM already out to a lead right here as he has got the hammer down in that Sonic Dodge for MBR. It's going to be a battle for the second position right now between the 660 of Garrett Miller, the 203, and the 72, and the 96 as they work down the backstretch. JTM, I they just they've got that car wound up already as the 660 of Garrett Miller is working down underneath the 72 of Duchess down into turn turn three as they head towards the short shoot. Here comes the 203 of Signs. He is right there to the inside of the 660 of Garrett Miller. So Garrett does get a little bit of a jump there. We saw the 96 of Nico slide back a little bit as he's running block right now between the 72 and the 13. But his teammates, third in points, the 25 of JTM, he is going to be your leader. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top as we got the 660 of Garrett Miller in second. He's trying to catch up to the back bumper. Well, that 25 of JTM with the 203 of Signs in hot pursuit right now. Signs down to the inside of the 660. Garrett shuts the door going into turn three and heading towards the short shoot. And to turn four, sign still right there to the back bumper of the 660. Looks like he's trying to push down to the inside. He's going to get a draft run down the front stretch. He's down to the inside of the 660. They're going to try to catch up to the 25. The JTM into turn one, but the 203 of signs can't make that pass. 
As the 660 of Garrett Miller does have a good draft on the 25 at JTM right now. Looks like we got yellow flag on the track right now. I forgot to mention that the double zero of Mudbone started 18th today. And the 20 of Adam B5000, who runs second in points, started way back in 28th. Mudbone currently 28th. And Adam currently in the 26th position. Hopefully not involved in this caution. Either one of those drivers, we're going to find out in just a moment. We're going to watch what they do. We only got three laps under our belt. We're going to see if they come in for service here. It's probably going to be a two-stop race maybe here in the More Freedom Series. This Indianapolis 60. Looks like they are going to bring those cars in. So JTM is dropping down. Looks like he is going to bring his car in for service. Maybe. Yes, we see him peeling off and coming into pit road. So we're going to watch the service on the 25 at JTM and see what they got in store here for this Sonic Dodge. See if NBR can get their act together here at the end of this season and uh, get their drivers out in front. Long way down pit road here at Indianapolis. So Garrett is, P uh, Nico is in, 203 is in, the 660 is in, 72 is in. Looks like fuel only for the 25 at JTM. He's down and away. The 660 is out. 203 of Signs is out. Signs barely comes out in the third position. That was a great race off of pit road for the 203 and the 660. Let's catch up. Ooh, this could be Harvey Jones stays out here. So Harvey stays out, leads a lap, and uh, that's good for Harvey. As we are only four, three or four laps in here, so that's going to be great for Harvey. He's going to actually get that start on the inside. He's going to push JTM to the outside, and that could be – that's really – that's some good gamemanship right there by the 33 of Harvey Jones and RP Racing, but let's see what brought out that caution. Well, this caution is going to be brought out between contact with the 544 Frederick Winklevom and the 40 of Veteran Chaos. We'll see what happens here. It's also going to involve his teammate, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. So let's see what happens from Beer's perspective. Well, as a result of that caution, both KFB and Veteran Chaos are going to be out of this race, which honestly good for the double zero of Mudbone, who was almost involved in that caution. Uh, he currently runs 28th right now with the 20 of Adam B5000 and 25th. JTM running third, second right now to the 33 of Harvey Jones. But let's go through your current top 10. Let's make sure we've got, well, we've got another lap to go, so... Your leader is the 33 of Harvey Jones. Second's going to be that 25 at JTM. Third will be the 660 at Garrett Miller. Fourth will be the 203 of Signs. Fifth will be the 96 of Nico. Sixth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Seventh will be the 72 of Duchess. Eighth will be the 34 of Super Snake. Ninth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 799 of Mike Check. So Harvey, like I said, there's a little bit of gamemanship here for RP Racing. Harvey stays out. Puts himself into the lead. He currently, let's see what Harvey is running right now in the point standings. He currently runs 29th. Um, he, I believe he's had a win this season, but just not a great re, not a great season for that 33 of Harvey Jones. Uh, in 29th in points, he is looking for a win here at Indianapolis. He's trying to play spoiler right now to that 25 at JTM who does He's got those 10 bonus points right now, one for leading a lap, or five for leading a lap, and five for starting on the pole. Uh, JTM also, I think he's going to have to, uh, he's going to have to try to lead it halfway, and he's going to have to try to lead the most laps here today, and I think they have a great setup on that 25. He looked pretty fast right there at the beginning of the race, and we saw that 660 of Garrett Miller catching up to him. Garrett, again, 
couple of Indiana boys right there with 25 and the 660 trying to win the, again at their home track here in the More Freedom Series. I believe Garrett has won here at Indianapolis at some point in his career in the More Freedom Series. We also have the 96 of Nico who runs fifth. And let's mention the all-important team in team standings as well as 25 at JTM currently running in the second position. The highest running douche motorsports is the 203 assigns who runs right now in the fourth position as we do have the 72 of duchess is also in the top 10 right now so with only being what would i say 16 points back mbr is 16 points back from douche motorsports uh jtm i think needs to get a win here and the 96 of nico does need to pass the 203 assigns maybe he run up there with his teammate the 25 of jtm uh that for mbr to win this but douche motorsports is trying their best to to de what knock the champion out like the mbr has won the first three points championships and a lot of that's due to you know them having six drivers over the last four seasons but Douche Motorsports came to play this year, and they're going to try to dethrone the king, as it were, of MBR as we're back to almost back ready to go green here at Indianapolis. Harvey Jones in the 33 Reynolds Wrap Dodge for RP Racing will be leading us down to take the green flag. Just waiting on our starter here. Green flag is out. We're back underway here at Indianapolis. JTM looks like he might have a good jump here. He does have a good jump on the 33 of Harvey Jones. He's going to push that car back out to the lead. Again, he's got to win this race. Uh, I do see the 88 of NM who was involved in that caution, who had made himself, got himself up to the top 10, is falling way back right now. So it looks like the 88 today is pretty much done right now as a result of that caution, but his teammate, the 25 at JTM, has now worked himself back into the top position with a 33 of Harvey Jones in second. Maybe Harvey's waiting on another caution flag. We're going to see if they get that here as the 96 of Nico down to the inside of the 660 of Garrett Miller. So battle for the third position right now is a 356 of Ice Cream some days is trying to help the 96 of Nico, but the 660 of Garrett Miller, who has, his car seems like it's very, very good here today at Indianapolis, keeps himself in the third position right there in front of the 96 of Nico. As we see, Harvey is trying not to let the 25 of JTM get away from him right now. So we have a two-car breakaway up here at the front of, of the field between the 25 of JTM the 30, and the 33 of Harvey Jones. As we watch the 96 of Nico down to the inside of the 660 of Garrett Miller. Garrett gives him room into turn three and the short shoot. As we see, crash right now on the track. We saw it happen live. The, 20, the 329 of Heck of a Duber and possibly the 11 of TC Roberts. Maybe multiple other cars involved here. As JTM will take the yellow flag in second. Looks like the 660 of Garrett Miller may take it in third. Or I mean... JTM's going to be leading. Harvey's second. It looks like Garrett's going to be third with Nico in fourth. But we saw a heck of a wreck, I think, between heck of a duber and the 11 of TC Roberts and possibly multiple other vehicles here. We're going to see if JTM is a taker for pit road again as we're working lap number nine. Nine to 24, so we're getting pretty close to halfway um, 15 laps to go. I don't know that they'll make it 15 laps. I think if he stays out, we have at least one more pit stop to go between all of these cars. So we're about to see what happens. Looks like JTM is dropping down to the inside. Looks like he is going to take, be a taker for service here. See if anybody elects to stay out or if everybody comes in. It looks like everybody is coming into the pits here. As they bring him down pit road, 
The 25 of JTM is bringing us down to his pit stall. We'll see what the at MBR crew does for this 25 at JTM. Four tires, two tires, definitely fuel. Looks like he's got right side tires going on. Might be a fuel going in. He's down. He is away. Two tires stop and fuel for both the 25 of JTM and the 660 of Garrett Miller. JTM beats him up, and Garrett's like, oh, no. I'm going to try to lead here, uh, so we're going to see what they do here, but let's catch up to the pace car and uh, see what brought out that caution. This caution is going to be brought out by contact between that 329 of Heck of a Duber and the 11 of TC Roberts. You're going to see Duber get up into the marbles here and have to slow down. He maybe got a little loose, but he's going to get, there's going to be contact between the 11 and the 329 here. So it doesn't look like Duber got loose at all, but it looks like uh, the 11 of TC Roberts does get up into him. We're going to see this happen again here. From the roof cam of your points leader, the double zero Mudbone. This might be trouble for the double zero of Mudbone. I think he has a tire let go. Watch what happens here. Get a good camera angle. Has a tire let go and into the inside pit road wall. And finally, looking at this crash, we're going to watch the, 25, or the 51 of AJM just all the way down the stretch here, just flipping. Hopefully he is okay. So lots of wild, crazy stuff happened on that caution. Uh, those out of the race, it'll be the 72 of Duchess, the 51 of AJM, the 329 of Heck of a Duber, the 211 of Hogs, and again, part of the first caution, the 40 of Veteran Chaos, and the 71 of Kung Fu Beers. So lots of people involved with that last caution, including the three, I, I want to say basically... Here's some people involved with that last caution. The 203 assigns the 95 of Zed Brunner, the 29 of Wishbone Attack, the 11 of TC Roberts, the 300 of Resemble, the 666 of Pistol Pete, the 544 of Frederick Winklevom, the double zero of Mudbone. Those are all involved with that caution. And I am concerned for your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone. If we can get a good look at his car, it definitely has damage on it. We did see that tire let go. And I, he must have ran over some debris there on the track. So he's got a little bit of damage, I think, on that mellow yellow. You can see a little bit on the side as we got basically the one to go right now with the 25 of JTM and the 660 of Garrett Miller going to be leading us back to take this green flag. It looks like JTM will have led, will possibly have led at halfway. So JTM is going to get, I mean, he's got those five bonus points. He's led eight laps so far. Like half of them have been under caution. But wild, crazy, wild, crazy end of this uh, More Freedom Series season four with that, ca that accident we had. And hopefully the 51 of AJM is okay. But JTM bring this back to the green flag. We'll see if... The 660, 660 of Garrett Miller can get a jump here. JT is very slow. Green flag's out. We're back underway here at Indianapolis. Garrett does get a jump on the 25 of JTM. So JTM falling back to the second position right now. He is running right there behind the 660 of Garrett Miller. Garrett is, probably, is trying to play spoiler to uh, the 25 of JTM's points and title championship right now. 
I'll say half the field involved in that accident as the 25 of JTM down to the inside of the Selmas down to the inside as they head into the short shoot. He's working down to the inside of the 660 of Garrett Miller. So on to the front stretch, JTM trying to lead here at Indianapolis, trying to put that Sonic Dodge for NBR back out into the front. He's got the good run down into turn one. Here comes the 33 of Harvey Jones. About just, yep, I think he's going to be able to get him here. Looks like we got a caution. Not sure Garrett may take the lead back over here. Not sure yet. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the timing and scoring does for us. But looks like we do have some an incident on the track involving the 544, the 23, the 49, and maybe the 11. So it's a, some rough racing here today at Indianapolis. It looks like the 660 of Garrett Miller will take the lead back over. So JTM is going to be hot under the collar after that one. Hot in the helmet, maybe, as he is currently running second to that 660 of Garrett Miller. Looks like Garrett is bringing him into the pits. JTM will follow. Looks like it'll probably be the last stop of the day for those drivers. We're going to watch and see what Garrett does here in the pits. It's definitely going to be fuel going into that car here. JTM and Garrett are working hard to win this race here today. They started one and two on the day. Um, no, they started one and three on the day. I'm sorry. Left side tires going onto that 25 of JTM. He's down and away. So it looks like a lot of these drivers may have just taken fuel only. JTM and Garrett both take left sides. That's going to put possibly the 33 of Harvey Jones back out to the lead. And so more gamemanship by the 33 of Harvey Jones takes no tires. Let's see what, actually, now let's, uh, we're under caution. Let's see what brought out that caution flag. This caution going to be brought out by contact between the 8 of Moon Bunny and the 49 of Jetman, I think. Let's see this happen. So you can see, you're going to see the 23 of Fuller than you does get a, like, I, I want to say, like, the worst end of this deal almost. Let's watch this happen. And a secondary part to this caution, watch this happen here. See Mudbone going down to the inside a little bit. Moon Bunny, I don't know what happens, but Resemble gets into the back of the 88 of NM, and then there's just like this chain reaction, and then Mud or Jetman comes in and rear ends the 11 of TC Roberts. So lots of chain reactions here at the back of this field. So after all of that... Um, those out of the race as a result will be the 666 of Pistol Pete. You saw that happen, like the secondary part to that caution. So Pistol Pete is out of the race. Uh, the 300 of Resemble, the 49 of Jetman, and 23 of Fuller Than You, and the 544 of Frederick Winklevalm, all involved in that caution, all out of the race, also involved in the caution where I believe the 8 of Moon Bunny and the 11 of TC Roberts as well. Let's go through your current top 10 because there's a huge shakeup now. Uh, again, the 33 of Harvey Jones is your leader. Second's going to be the 34 of Super Snake. Third will be the 25 of JTM. Fourth will be the 96 of Nico. Fifth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Sixth will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Seventh will be the 999 of Deviant. Eighth will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Ninth will be the 10 of Scooter. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 777 of Seabass. Double Zero of Mudbone currently runs 18th. 
And second place in points, the 20 of Atomy 5000 currently runs 13th with about seven laps to go. I think it's going to put us to the end of the race. Hopefully, if we have no more cautions, caution-filled race here in Indianapolis today. And uh, Mudbone has come out unscathed, relatively unscathed, considering how close he's been to being wiped out of the out of the race. Uh, luck, a, a little bit of luck on his side here today at Indianapolis, and that might possibly keep him in the, the points lead at the end of this race. 33 of Harvey Jones trying to win it here for RP Racing. He's trying to beat out the pole sitter, the 25 of JTM. JTM again has led eight laps. He has led the most as of right now. Uh, the 34 of Super Snake is starting on his outside. He's going to try to get the jump like we saw Garrett do. So Amish Buggy Racing is trying to beat MBR out of this of this win here today. Harvey's leading us back to the green flag. The beautiful orange and black Dodge, Challenge, Dodge Challenger pace car is ducking into the pits. Green flag's out. We're back underway here at Indianapolis. Thirty-three of Harvey Jones, a little bit slower, might have right side, left side damage on that car. Twenty-five of JTM is trying to get around him as they head into turn number two. So JTM ducking down to the inside of the thirty-three of Harvey Jones. Your leader on the track right now is the thirty-four of Super Snake. Twenty-five of JTM now down to the inside of the thirty-three of Harvey Jones. We see Mudbone falling back right now. So Harvey's slipping back up high. He's into the marbles a little bit. The 25 of JTM to the back bumper. The 34 is Super Snake. If they can keep it caution-free here. Down the front stretch, maybe we can get some runs underneath our belts here. As the, 20, as the 34 of Super Snake does take over your lead from the 33 of Harvey Jones with the 25 of JTM knocking on his back door right here as they head into the short shoot. So JTM down to the inside of the 34 of Super Snake. He is got that 25 Sonic Dodge for MBR hooked up here today as he is being followed by the 420 by Queen of Hearts. So JTM pushes that car out to the front. Followed very close by the 420 of Queen of Hearts and the 34 of Super Snake. Super Snake tries to get underneath that 420 with about five laps to go here at Indianapolis. Fastest lap on the day is by the 203 of Signs, by the way at 203.188 miles per hour. So your leader back on the track is the 25 of JTM. I believe he will lead possibly the most last. He's going to get, I think he's going to get 20 bonus points here today. Um, but we're watching back here in the back of the pack as we see the 20 of Adam B5000 trying to get underneath the 660 of Garrett Miller. So Garrett fell back after those pit stops and adam is currently running in the eighth position he he does need a few more spots on the double zero of mudbone mudbone has fallen i think to the back uh almost to the back of those people on the lead lap right now as we see the 13 of king of the aces down to his inside checking on the 25 of jtm again he has put a few car lengths on that 34 of super snake super snake and the 420 of queen of hearts and the 33 of harvey jones are going to need to work together here as we see the 999 of Deviant, like I can't point it out enough that the 999 of Deviant has had such a great year after missing the first four races, um, after Dump and Roll Racing uh, disbanded after the end of last year. He is now almost into the top 10 in points. He currently runs 12th in the points right now. As we see the 660 of Garrett Miller and the 999 or the 20 of Adam B5000 have now caught up to the 999 of Deviant. So Deviant, I think he needs to work underneath that 33 of Harvey Jones. Harvey, again, does not have, he didn't take tire. I don't know that he's taken tires the last couple times. He may have taken it. No, he took fuel only because he didn't come in. I don't know, but Harvey is playing the long game here. As we see the 660 of Garrett Miller to the outside 
of the 999 of Deviant. Adam's going to try to drop it down to the inside here. On the 660 of Garrett Miller, he does need that position. He also needs the position on. So we do see the 420 and the 33 jumping into the pits with two laps to go. So JTM, we're going to see with two laps to go if he brings it into the pits. His only competition right now is at 34 to Super Snake. He's led the most laps here today. He's going to have led... And he's trying to win. I mean, he's trying to lead the most important lap here, which is the last lap on this track uh, to be able to put himself in a position to win this championship. With Mudbone solidly in the top. I mean, Mudbone could, he's almost in the top 10 right now. But JTM bringing us down. He is taking the white flag. One lap to go for the 25 of JTM down into one and two down into one headed towards the shoot short shoot now heading into two is that 25 of JTM looks like him and the 34 of super snake broken away from the 999 of deviant and the 20 of Adam B 5000 as we watch the scooter come back on the track headed towards turn headed towards turn three for the final time the 25 of JTM trying to have a Cinderella season here at the end of the year. He's going to lead the most laps at Indianapolis. He's going to start on the pole. He's going to lead halfway. And he is going to cross the yard of bricks. He's going to win it here today at Indianapolis. Your winner, the 25, the JTM. So amazing run by the 25, a JTM for and he is doing everything he can right now to win the championship. Uh, even though the double zero Mudbone going to finish 11th here today, he is doing everything he can. So let's go through your finishing order. Your winner is the 25 of JTM. Second's going to be the 34 of Super Snake. Third will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Fourth will be the 999 of Deviant. Fifth will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Sixth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Seventh will be the zero seven of Douche Wagons. Eighth will be the seven seven ninety nine of Mike Check. Ninth will be the triple seven of Seabass. And rounding out your top ten will be the three five six of Ice Cream. Some days. So awesome race here at Indianapolis. Came down to the last few laps for JTM. Next week we head to Homestead for the Homestead eighty. So that should be an awesome race as we get the last two races here. Homestead and Talladega. Um, I think it's, we should check in on your on your point standing, see what's going on there. Let's also check in on your team and chassis standings. So JTM did what he had to do here today at Indianapolis. He wins one for the Indy boys, the, Indi the Indiana boys here at Indianapolis. Uh, he led the most laps. He started on the pole. He led at half, and he had one of the best cars here today. And I think we're going to see if that, with these final two races, if that will help him in this championship. He, he has to finish top five in the next two to even have a chance to beat Mudbone, and I'm sure there's going to be some calculation going on between in the pits and, and everything else to see if he has a chance to win it here. But congratulations to the 25 of JTM. He is your winner here at Indianapolis. And until next week at Homestead, take care.